Greeting from Global Project Control. In this lesson, we want to talk about how to use Primora P6 information to create pivot curve in Excel. For this item, you need to implement the activity code to this project. As you see, I have three level of activity code in my project and all of my tasks included three activity code. So how you can create a report by this item? You need to go to the activity usage spreadsheet Then over here in the spreadsheet field, you need to go to the spreadsheet. For instance, I want to only create a, an S curve for labor units. Cumulative actual labor unit in comparison with cumulative budgeted labor unit, these two items on the cumulative section and actual labor unit in comparison with baseline project labor unit so in this case uh, you have the distribution of the items over here you can find this this is the distribution of the item based on the spreadsheet so right now you need to shift the data from p6 to the excel how you can shift it you can use ctrl a then right click and copy all the data then you only need to open the excel sheet paste the information and right now you have the spreadsheet but on this stage I want to notify you about something if you combine the data include the WB section with activity section you cannot create and manage the data well in the Excel why because the data are going to be repetitive if you select one of these data for instance actual labor units then you want to find that how much budgeted you have in a labor unit as you see I have more than 200,000 assigned budgeted over here but as you see my total budget is 41,352 hours so how should I manage it you need to come back to the P6 Go to the group and sort over here you need to remove the wbs section then you have nothing for group and sort over here as a result of this change all the tasks sorted in the spreadsheet without any group and sort right now if you use ctrl a and copy the data then you come back to the Excel then you can find this if I filter for instance one of this field then my total budgeted labor units it's equal to 41,352 it is exactly same as my total budgeted labor unit when I have WBS sorted in the Pirmavra P6. So 
In this case, you want to be careful about distribution of the information. Right now, I have the data over here and I want to create my scarf. You need to go to the insert on the pivot table, select all the data. Over here, you need to only select a spreadsheet field in a column and add each by each dates All the dates going to be sorted in a value section of the pivot table. And after you add all of them, you need to move the value from columns to the rows. Then this item will be your total item. And as you see, we reach to the 41,352 in a total for cumulative. Right now, I want to use formatting for my data. And after formatting my data, I need to use Ctrl F and replace some of 0, 01 to the dot. I want to replace some of O1 dash to the dot. Then I use replace all and as you see I replace my date like this. Then I close the search button and select my pivot item. Then go to the pivot table analyze and use pivot chart. Over here I have the pivot chart. Let me to move this chart to the S curve. Then you only need to right click and hide all field bottom on a chart. Then right click on one of them, change this chart series. Then over here you need to a little bit design your chart. For cumulative actual labor, I need to select, for instance, the line. For cumulative budgeted labor, I want to change it to the line, then change both of them to the secondary. And by this change, you will find that I have an S curve. Also, I can shifted the legend to the bottom section and add a chart title this is man hours labor unit is care If you want to a little bit more design it, you need to go to the design and for instance, select this item. Then this chart is well designed like this. But as you see, I have a little bit modify my chart. This chart should not be extended like this because my actual labor unit in the last cutoff date is January 22. So how can I manage it? I need to go to my spreadsheet field, remove any filtration, then On the spreadsheet field, I should select the cumulative actual labor unit. This is cumulative actual labor unit. Then 
What is my data date? The next step is refer to my data date. You can find your data date from your schedule. My January 22 is my last data date, or you can refer to your curve. The last actual date show you your data date. So after January, I don't I don't have any data for actual. In this case, you need to come back to your Excel sheet, find the February month of 22. First, we filter a spreadsheet field to the cumulative actual labor unit. But over here, as you know, on the Primara P6, the item for cumulative repeated from date of creation to the end of project based on your baseline. So I need to move to the last row of my data date and I am going to clean from February to the October for this item only. Then I clean these items. After that, I clear the filtration. As you see, the other data come back. Right now, you need to go to the curve, select your curve, and go to the pivot chart analyze. In a refresh button, you need to select the refresh all. Then this part of curve remove and update it based on your last data modification. I hope this lesson is useful for you. Thank you for watching Global Project Control and support us by your subscription. I hope this lesson is useful for you. Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for further lesson. Also, you can visit my website www.globalprojectcontrol.com in order to find all of my lesson and courses in the same time. Thank you for your subscription at my YouTube channel.